love is strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf Hello guys, welcome! We have just left Playa de Cuevas del Mar, uh, entered the, the A8 Autopista del Cantabrico, uh, near town of Nueva, and we are now heading west. It's going to be over 300 kilometers of toll-free highways, then some national roads into the Galiza territory of Spain until we reach the holy city of Santiago de Compostela. I really hate autopistas, but this is the only way we can get to Santiago during the daylight, so let's go! made it! Over 350 kilometers later, we are just entering Santiago de Compostela. You can already see a lot of pilgrims on their way to the cathedral. <laughs> but first we're gonna visit a very iconic monument dedicated to the pilgrims. Hola! Bon camino! About the TRK on these uh, over 300 kilometers on uh, autopista, uh, she behaved really good. The average speeds were about 120 to 130 kph. Fuel consumption around 4 liters to 100 kilometers. And of course very comfortable. The only bad thing was the very windy and noisy on my LS2 helmet. I think these helmets absolutely suck on wind noise. I even tested it without solar peak but funny enough the noise remained almost the same so the problem wasn't the peak at all so i was using the silicone earplugs very good i recommend them on long voyages the the sound almost disappears get to the shop não, deve ser privado, se não fazia. É da polícia, man! E o cara todo a dizer Deus, o gajo ainda manda aí um carro patrulha. Está <risos> tudo bem, está tudo bem. We are now in Monte do Gozo, meaning Hill of Joy. It is a hill in Santiago de Compostela that is known for being the place where Christian pilgrims on the Camino de Santiago, in English the Way of St. James, got their first views of the three spires of their destination, the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. These statues over here celebrate precisely that, the moment the, the pilgrims saw the, the cathedral over there in the distance. Imagine that 500 years ago, just amazing. Today, things are quite different, you have an highway and many many buildings, but the feel of this place is still here. It makes me goosebumps just being here.
Alright, we are now heading to the historic city center of Santiago de Compostela. Uh, lots of traffic of course, this is a very touristy city, but let's see if we can park our motorcycles nicely near the historic center.
Já não porque já tinha avisado, mas ao início talvez sim. A moto está a subir esta por lá aqui. Já viu um tanto para tirar de dentro da sociedade? Tinha menos. Que altura do ano é que era? Here we are in the historic city center of Santiago de Compostela, namely the Plaza do Obradoiro, where the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela is. It is, of course, a world heritage site here in Galicia, Spain. The cathedral is the reputed burial place of St. James the Great, Santiago, the Apostle of Jesus Christ. Yes, he was an apostle of Jesus Christ and he is buried here in Santiago de Compostela. It is also one of the only three known churches in the world built over the tomb of the apostle of Jesus Christ. The other two being St. Peter Basilica in Vatican City and St. Thomas Cathedral in Chennai, India being the later one built by the Portuguese explorers in the 16th century. The cathedral here was historically been a place of pilgrimage of the way of St. James since the early Middle Ages and marks the end of the pilgrimage route. However, many religious people believe that the real end of the way of St. James is in Finisterre on the Atlantic coast to the west of here. The cathedral itself is a Romanesque structure with later Gothic and Baroque additions. The first church was built here in the year of 829 after the tomb of Saint James being discovered here in the year of 1814 and sparked a flow of pilgrims to this location making it develop and grow a lot. In the year of 997 the early church was burned to the ground by Almansur ibn Abir Amir, army commander of the Caliph of Cordoba, during an invasion. But fortunately, the ruins of St. James were spared. Imagine if they were destroyed by, this, by these uh, invaders. That would be very, very sad. In the year of 1075, under the reign of Alfonso the 6th of Castile, the current cathedral construction began, having the last stone of it being laid in the year of 1122, but certainly not finished. The construction was altered many, many times, but finally the cathedral was consecrated in the year of 1211 by King Alfonso IX of Leon. So imagine, this cathedral took almost 100 years to be completely, fully completely. And still today, it is always under repair and under maintenance. This all being said, this is a mystical place.
a sanctuary with dozens of churches and many, many more medieval-looking constructions. It is a place of devotion and pilgrimage, and for that, this city is always full of people. For me, this trip to Picos de Europa was my way to follow the Camino de Santiago, the way of St. James, on a motorcycle, all the way from the sanctuary of Fatima in Portugal, that I was there just weeks before coming here to northern Spain. And my plan is to end this pilgrimage of mine in the Atlantic coast in Finisterre. I hope you enjoyed coming with us. Thank you for watching and the journey goes on.